Hi Year 2, welcome back to Mr. Moher Music. This is my cajon. Now a cajon is an instrument from Peru and cajon translates as box or crate and it's just a wooden box that has different sounds depending on where you hit it. So you've got nice low sounds, we've got snare and it's got different settings. I can turn my snare off on this one. There's loads of different ways you can play it. I'll put that snare back on. I like that snare sound. Now we are going to do some table drumming today. So we're going to use a table and the floor of our feet to first off play some pieces of music and then you're going to compose me some pieces. So it's not too different to using a cajon because a cajon makes different sounds depending on when you're, where you play it and we're going to make different sounds depending on if we're playing the floor or our table. So you are going to need to be sat on a chair at a table. So hopefully like me, you've now got your chair, you've now got your table and you're all ready to have a go at chair drumming. Now, it's not that difficult to do, but you need to be quite good at coordinating your hands and your legs. And it's something, especially with some of these pieces, I struggle with. So let's look at this chart to start with. We need to know the beats. One, two, three, and four. That's fine. One, two, three, four. And for each of those, we could put in different actions to do to make different sounds. We'll come to that a bit later. Let's have a look at what we need to do ourselves. So, first thing, RH, right hand. That just means if you see RH, you play your right hand on the table. If you see LH, left hand on the table. I think that's quite simple. RF for your right foot on the floor and LF for your left foot on the floor. So right hand, left hand, right foot, left foot. Let's have a go at a pattern. Let's start with just our hands because that's easier. So we've got, in one we've got left hand, in two we've got right hand, in three we've got two left hands, and in four we've got right hand. So, we need to look at the rhythm. So we've got one, one beat for one note, one, two beat for one note, three, we've got two, we've got to squish two left hands in. So it's going to go one, two, three and four. Left hand, right hand, left, left, right. With me, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left. One more time. Left, right, left, left, right. Let's make it a bit harder. Let's get our feet involved. So left hand, right hand, left foot, right foot. Are you ready for that? Here we go. Left hand, right hand, left foot, right foot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One more time and one, two, three, four. Let's make it even harder. This one I've been practicing and it's taken a lot of practicing to get it right. So it's a challenge. You've got left hand, left hand, that's fine. Right foot, right hand, left foot. Let's go through it. So it's got two left hands, then right foot, then right hand, then left foot. I kind of think about it a little bit like an X for the three, four different points, but you might find that more difficult. So we've got left hand, left hand, right foot, Right hand, left foot, left hand, left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot, left hand, left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. Ready to try that a bit faster? One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One and two, three. One more time. One and two, three, four. How did you find that one? If you found it really tricky, take it back and have another go. And let's have a go at this. Now, you can see 
I've added an extra box underneath, which means we're going to have to do things at the same time. So in this case, right hand and right foot on beat one, then left hand. Then it's going to be right hand and left foot, then left hand. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, I made a mistake. How are you finding that one? Should we do it a bit slower? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three, four. Who wants it a little bit faster? If you're ready to do it a bit faster, do it with me now. If you're not, maybe take the video back and have a go a bit slower. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One more time. Well done. Now, let's try even harder. So we've got right hand and left hand at the same time. And then we've got right hand, left hand. And then we've got right foot and left foot at the same time. And right hand, left hand. Maybe easier than the last pattern. Let's have a go. So we go one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. tricky. Let's go really slow. So we've got one, two, and three, four, and 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 who would like that a little bit faster? Let's have a go. One, two, Three, four, and one, two, and 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 three. One more time. Very tricky, but now it's over to you. I'm giving you some empty sheets to have a go with. Now, from the description link below, you can download a worksheet that has this on it. Or you could just draw it for yourself, it's not that difficult. One, two, three, four across the top, two boxes underneath of each number. And you can put in any combination of right foot, left foot, right hand, left hand. It is entirely up to you what you put in each box. Start easy with your first pattern, slowly make it harder. And that's how you're going to push yourself to more challenges. Slowly make it harder and harder. Good luck, have fun, and enjoy making music.